Hi everyone. Um, nice to see everyone here. Um, first of all, thanks for attending this exciting webinar. And uh, my name is Tim. I'm the head of um, global sales for further markets. And today I'll be running through with you IB Masterclass 4. Okay, the title is From A to Z, Knowing Our Industry. Just a quick run through. Um, in the last Masterclass 3, we, we, we talked about going through our website, floatermarkets.com, and also our Floatern Suite, right? Where we go through all the funding, withdrawals, all the IB analytics. So for those who have yet to attend our IB Masterclass 3, the previous class, do watch out for our email, and we'll be, we'll be updating you on, on the classes as well. Okay, so for today, right, we'll be going through two main things. The first part is the regulations in this, in our industry, in our Forex industry. The second part, which I find very interesting as well, are all the questions that we had from our partners in, in the last few years. And these are very interesting questions. And from there, we will we'll go through all the answers, which are all the honest answers that which is the first time we are, we, are, we are going through all these answers as well. Okay, so let's get started. So BIS, right, basically BIS, um, they are basically the central bank of all central banks. They have been owned by 62 central banks. They represent countries from around the world and they together account for 95% of the world GDP. They announced that the global currency trading searches to 6.6 .6 trillion a day market. So it's really, really huge, right? The potential of this trading industry. Due to the overlapping, uh, overlapping time zones, the, the day time, right, will move from the right to the left. So there's at least one region open at any time, thus creating a market that's open 24 hours, five days a week. The first market to open for the week is New Zealand and the last market to close for the week is US. And why is this an advantage, right? Look around us, news, events impacting the financial markets are happening so frequently. So with technology and speed of, in, speed of information, all right, it's traveling faster and to more people. So imagine yourself, uh, guys, that you're involved in a market that's not 24 hours. That means, right, you cannot react as and when you like, and you'll miss opportunities or even incur unnecessary costs. Right, so you must be involved in the 24 hours market today in order to re react immediately, to take advantage of events and news happening around us. So let's talk a bit about regulations in this industry. So how is Forex regulated? Well, there's no central bank that regulates the Forex market. Uh, respective countries have their own regulatory bodies to oversee the forex market activities within their jurisdiction to prevent illegal fraud or other activities. So the objective, right, is these global bodies, they regulate forex by setting standards which all brokers under them, right, must comply with, right? These standards include register and license with the body, undergoing regular audits, communicating certain changes of service to their clients and more. And this actually helps, right, to ensure that currency trading is ethical and fair to all involved. Every country, they have their own regulatory authority that lays down the framework of rules that are to be compiled, complied with on the forex trading market, right? So under this guideline, all brokers, banks, hedge funds, they must strictly follow the prescribed rules or otherwise they have been deemed illegal, right? So regulations are important. So let's look at some of the regulators, right? In, in for US, they have this CFTC, Community Futures Trading Commission. In UK, Financial Conduct Authority, FCA. In Cyprus, we have CISEC, right? And in ASIC, we have Australia Securities and Investments Commission. And there are actually so, so many and those around us in Southeast Asia, we, of course, we have um, MES, Monetary Authority of Singapore, Indonesia, BEPEPTI, Indonesian Commodities and Futures Trading Regulatory Authority. And uh, in Cambodia, right, it's called SECC, Securities and Exchange Commission. And in Hong Kong, 
there's this SAR, Securities and Futures Commission. So there are so many regulators. So just to give um, everyone a brief history, right? CFTC of US, they have actually fallen out of favor among brokers. So after the US, they, they put this dot frank act in place, right? And with this act, there's so much restriction of both the brokers and the traders. As a result, right, so many brokers decided to leave the US. And not only that, in other regulators, um, FCA, right, Financial Conduct Authority of UK, they, they actually banned all bonuses. So you couldn't have any losable bonus. And also, they have this leverage cap of 1 is to 50. So they are being very, very strict, right? So this is FCA. In CySEC Cyprus, right, which is the Cyprus Securities and Exchange Commission, they have actually instruct retail brokers, right, to stop bonus promotion. So it's, they, they follow FCA, right? So they stop bonus promotion and they also kept leverage at 1 is to 50. So this actually affect a lot of clients, especially in Asia, in Southeast Asia, where leverage trading is, is really important. Okay, so without bonuses and, and leverage being kept at 50, right, many brokers were actually affected a lot. So this is, um, for those who are in this industry for a while, you, you, I'm sure you can guess this particular broker, which we, we don't want to uh, mention the name, right? So a few years ago, this particular broker, right, they, they have this losable bonus. So, um, and the losable bonus they are giving out wasn't really controlled well, which means every client, right, they can open a few accounts under their own name and they can just do reverse trading and they can just make the bonus. So at that time, this particular broker, they, they, was, they wasn't strict and their focus are more of funding, okay? So when all these traders, they, they, they make money from all these um, bonuses, they tried to withdraw, but they couldn't withdraw. Okay, and until today, clients, especially in Southeast Asia, so a few countries are especially affected, Indonesia, Vietnam, Malaysia, and Thailand. Until today, clients could not actually withdraw their money. Okay, so there was an edict that review the regulatory body doesn't actually suspend these brokers' activities despite clients' complaints which amount to a few thousand complaints, right? So for this particular article, it talks about why the regulatory body doesn't do anything much, right? They, they didn't actually suspend these brokerage activities. Okay, so that's about regulators. So I'm, I'm going to talk about this. I like this session uh, because these are the questions that we have tough questions, I would say very tough questions that were collected, right, from our partners over the years, right? So they, these are very good questions. And um, by asking such questions, it shows how serious they are in Florida markets and how serious they are in this industry. And later on, through the answers that I will provide you, right, which are all very honest insight from regarding our industry and company, which I believe most of you who are attending this webinar, right, haven't even heard of these answers before. Okay, so, so let's, let's go through all these questions. First question, why under S. St. Vincent? Okay, so as, as you can see, uh, the forest industry has evolved rapidly and you will continue to evolve, right? Clients demand, especially in, in Asia, in Southeast Asia, they demand flexibility, right? Example, high leverage bonuses while seeking assurance that their funds are safe, which means they want flexible, yet they want to make sure, please, I want my funds to be safe and, and their interests are safeguarded, right? So flexibility plus safety of fund. And uh, we've been doing research, right? We, we, are, we, we find that most regulations around the world, they are restrictive and reactive. As, as, opposed, as opposed to being progressive and proactive. Okay, so maybe just to share a bit more, what 
St. Vincent actually offer. It offers greater speed of onboarding, onboarding clients. So if you were to open an account with Markets with us, if you have your documents proper, right, we will be approving your account in less than one business day. Prior to St. Vincent, we were under another regulators and we, to be honest, we were facing a lot of struggles, right? On our hand, right, the company, we, we, of course, we want speed, right? We want speed. We want to approve clients within a day, right? But due to our ex-regulators, we have challenges in that, right? So that there, at times there may be further approval needed, right? In order to, to onboard clients. And with St. Vincent, right? We can offer higher than one is to 100 leverage to clients, which you saw in the previous slides, right? Most of the brokerage now, they are offering around at most one is to 50. And in Asia, right? Clients love, love the way, you know, margin trading, like to go on with higher leverage. You know, this is, this is the style and habit of clients in our region. Okay, so by having this St. Vincent, right, with, on board with us, we are able to offer higher than one is 200 leverage to clients. And also the most important thing, right? Everybody love bonuses. Everyone, right? So thankfully with St. Vincent, we are allowed to offer credit bonus such as our infinity credit bonus, right, which is for our direct, our manual trader, and also um, different bonuses such as stay home bonus, which is for our copy pip client. And as you can see, right, in this article, ASIC from Australia, they are, they are actually proposing to limit the leverage caps to 20 to 1 for gold and silver. And for those who are following the news, right, they are restricting clients from China as well. So recently, there's a lot of big hoo-ha about this, right, where brokerage under ASIC will not be able to accept China clients. And also, as you saw from the previous article, when I talked about regulation, right, SISEC actually stopped bonuses and restrict leverage as well, right? They, they, want, they want, brokers under SISEC was not able to, to offer bonuses, like what we are offering now. And also, the, their maximum leverage is at 1 is to 50. So this article is a pretty interesting one, where they actually talk about the trend in 2019, which is just last year. Right? It's a trend of a year of migration for brokers and traders. So basically, they are actually flocking to offshore brokers like those in St. Vincent right? due to the flexibility that they offer. Okay, so this is a, a pretty good article which I like. Second question, how to prove that Florida Markets is really 100% STP? Okay, for, for those who are IB partners with us, right? You know that we are 100% STP, but I'm sure, right? Some of you have this question as well. How, to re how do you really prove? Everyone in the market can say they are 100% STP, right? So how do you really prove? So basically, two things, external and internal verification, right? So in this um, article by World Finance, right? They actually mentioned in the article that we are straight through process broker like for the markets, right? So before they are publishing this broker, they actually did a research on us to make sure we are really what we are saying right before publishing. So this external validation. So um, we also can show our clients, right? The order details of the ticket that is being sent out to our LP, right? These are all facts. And um, as a, if a broker is, is a, a market maker model, there will be no such tickets, right? Only STP who are pushing out all the trades to LP right, will have this order details of these tickets. Okay, so this is internal verification. So the next question you may ask, then in that case, how, how does for the market's profit as an STP, right? Since you're not doing market making model, which is similar to casino model, 
then as a STP, full STP, how do we actually profit? So to put it in a simple way, right? I'm sure all of you attending this, um, this webinar today, you have definitely visited money changes in your country. Okay, wherever you are going to overseas, which we can't do now, sadly, right? But I mean, when you travel last time, okay, for example, you're in Malaysia, you, you want to go to, you need US dollars lah. So you, you went to this money changer, you pass them ringgit, right? And to exchange for 1000 USD. So imagine with me, uh, after five minutes, you decide that, oh no, my, my traveling is cancelled. I don't even need this 1000 USD. So five minutes later, you, you turn back to the, to, to the money exchange, money changer, and you exchange this 1000 USD back to ringgit. Okay, so my question to you is, do you think you will get back exactly the same amount of ringgit when you first exchange it with them? Definitely not, right? Because there's a spread, which is the difference between buy and sell. This is how the money changers make their money. Okay, and this is how, as a STP broker, right, we make our money as well. It's the same theory, right? We make through spread, which is the difference between buy and sell. But the good news is the spread on the uh, on front market sites are much tighter as compared to the money changers. So for money changers, right, it's very normal for their spread to be more than 1,000 pips, whereas for our spread, usually it's between one to two pips. That's the difference, okay? Next question. We, we have clients, especially in this region, right, who loves, high leverage right they, they and and there are many brokers out there right who are offering very high leverage when i when i say high right you can go up to one is to two thousand one is to five thousand we have seen that so in further markets we only offer one is to five hundred and that is like only up to certain amount as the balance increases we will lower the leverage right so we always have these burning questions from our partners from our traders from our prospects everyone they, they are always asking why can why can't it be one is to one thousand one is to one two thousand there are actually two reasons okay like i say this is all something new that has never been mentioned in the webinar before you all need to understand as a full stp broker right we we work with our lp is that right so our lp will also offer us leverage as well okay around a range of leverage, not fantastic. So whenever a brokerage, an STP broker like Flutter Markets, we were to offer leverage to, to our clients, right? We, we, we need to have collaterals. So that's the reason there's a certain limit of leverage that we can offer. Okay, because over LP, they will expect huge amount of collateral, the higher leverage we go up. That's only the first reason. The second reason, right, we, we are really committed to provide a tr safe trading environment. The reason, right, that we are offering maximum wise to farm is to actually prevent over leveraging on your trading accounts. Many traders out there, right, when they trade, when they enter their buy or sell, I was a trader 12 years ago until five years ago. I was a trader for seven years, right? At the start of my trading journey, trader journey, right? When I hit buy or sell, right, I'll, I'm only thinking of making money. I'm sure, right, all of you who are trading, especially at the start, right, you'll be thinking of the same thing. How much will I make? Rarely, right, as a young, I mean, new trader, they, they, rarely they will think that how much they will lose. They're always thinking how much they will win. And they're they are always thinking, right, when can I be a millionaire in the, on next Friday? Okay? So it's, it's pretty normal. Okay? But it's our role, right, to provide a safe trading environment. This one is to 500 is to actually prevent over leveraging on your trading account. You may win a lot, but you may lose a lot. So, so let's, let's imagine this. In the first month, right, by over leveraging through strategy or luck or anything, right, you make 100%. So maybe from one, you make 100% from 5,000 to 10,000. Great, you make 100%. But you need to take one month, right, of losing 100%. The same 100%, right? You need to take one month to lose 100% and your account will be zero. Okay, so you, you need to be very, very careful when it comes to trading. 
do not treat trading like gambling. I know it's easier <laughs> said than done, right? But this is something we can prevent on site by preventing, by offering a maximum of one is to 500 comes to the leverage, okay? So this, this article is a very recent article, right? It's about this guy who, who is a very new trader. He trained this app called Robinhood. It's a brokerage, right? It's a broker. So he actually commits suicide after seeing a 730,000 negative balance, right? Due to over leveraging and, and different reason, which is a sad case actually, because at the end of the day, right? The, the owner, the founder of Robin, who actually mentioned it, is just a number. Doesn't mean that he, at that point of time, he got to pay that amount, but it was way too late. Okay, but then if, if it was a proper manage, managing in terms of leverage, right, this wouldn't have happened. Okay. Another favorite question, especially in this region where, where we, we have some partners who have some not so good experience with other brokerage who claims to be a full pledge broker but in the end right they found that they are actually just a white label okay so they will come to us and ask us the same question because they don't want to make the same mistake so it's actually very straightforward when it comes to this we are we are not a white label because we have our own mp4 server and we actually sign a direct agreement with meta codes all full pledge broker will have actually direct access to this page right to the meta code login page which white label will not do not have access to right so for, for our friends out there if, if you really want to find out just ask whatever broker to, to show you this right so this is the solid proof that a brokerage is actually a full pledge broker rather than a white label okay this is for we have many we have many EA provider asking these questions, right? Because um, basically send account is a, is a smaller version, right? It's a very small volume account. Usually EAs that do martingales, they, they want to start with very, very, very small amount. So we've been getting these questions since five years ago, but it's always a no. The reason being we are, because we are committed to be a 100% STP broker, right? So two reasons. The smallest, the first reason is the smallest forex size that LP, uh, liquidity provider, accept is 0 0.01 lot. And due to our 100% STB model, right, we simply cannot pass trades smaller than 0 0.01 lot to our LPs, right? So we are committed to our promise that we will go 100% STP today, right? So there is no way we will do send account unless LP suddenly let us know that, oh, we, we, they can do smaller than, lesser than 0 0.01. Then we can open up the SEND account. But until now, we, we won't be accepting SEND account for now in the markets. Okay? And these are for hardcore traders, right, who, who loves trading. We have many partners, even though they are doing, you know, IB business, they love trading as well. Right? They are doing education, they, 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 they have passion for trading. From a trader, they turn into educators. Right? So, so they, they, they are always making sure that they want to know right, whether as a retail trader, do they actually have a disadvantage over bank trader? Thankfully, right, the answer is no in further markets. Because, right, let me explain further. The hardware infrastructure that we have right, is actually state of the art to be honest with you. Our servers are hosted in the same data center, right? Equinix LT4, LD4, SLLP. Where many of the banks, you can do a Google check, many of the banks trading servers are hosted there. So it's the same place, okay? So our trades are at a similar, if not better latency against many banks situated in London. So uh, we actually recommend our clients to utilize a London VPS if you want to take advantage of this very low latency environment, if you're using an MT4 expert advisor, okay? So the, the answer is no, you don't have a disadvantage on trading versus the bank trader if you are trading with us in the markets. That's the short answer. Another top, all-time favorite question, right? Is my money safe 
with Fullerton markets. So given our deep understanding of this industry and the markets we serve, this is what I meant by taking a proactive and progressive way. Right? So we actually take a progress, proactive stance by maintaining our competitive edge while still safeguarding clients' funds through Fulton Shield. If you remember, right, we, we, we talked about flexibility yet fund safety. So this is something we actually provide, we cover everything. Right, so we actually won this best fund safety award by World Finance, where Mario, right, our CEO, was actually in London. He was there to collect our award, and he also did an, uh, an interview there as well. Okay, with World Finance. So we have three three levels, right? The first level is where we segregate clients' funds from our company's funds. But to be honest with you, right. This is nothing fantastic and it's very normal. I can say right now, 85%, 80% of brokers are doing that right now. If you ask me, is this a loan safe? The answer is no, unfortunately. Because all these are only done once a year. Imagine that, huh? right? Companies audit are done once a year. During, outside of the, the period of doing auditing, right? How would we know the, the funds are not intertwined are not mixed together. How will we know the company are not using clients' fund? We won't know, right? It's only when it comes to auditing, yeah, everything is in, in place properly. But what if before the auditing is, is coming, the client's fund is already being used up? And it, to be honest, it has happened so many times in the past 10 to 12 years. Okay, so th this, is, this is okay, but this level alone, right, is not safe at all, not recommended at all, if this is just a level, okay? That's why we have this um, second level, which we have a custodian company to hold clients' fund. The, the nature of this custom, custodian company is to actually purely administer clients' fund, especially withdrawal and deposit, right? So, clients' fund right are held by a separate so touch wood lah, if anything were to go wrong with us for the markets right clients funds are still safe is it good good but we actually go all out of the way right to add one more level because we may be thinking right what if this Fulton custodian company were to do anything to play pang lah, in a way right we never know that's why we are working with a top insurer company, right, to, to set up an insurance underwritten by, by this company, right, to protect clients against the loss of funds due to misappropriation or crime of floater markets, right? With these three layers, right, I dare say with 100% confidence, right, this is absolutely the highest form of fund safety in our industry. Very, very sure. And, um, well, this pandemic is is getting nowhere right as of now so we, we also have clients this year in the last few months right they are always asking asking me and asking my colleagues how, how can i really profit from this pandemic as an ib as our partner okay so as an ib right which i'll talk more on ib masterclass 5 which you must attend right because we are actually strategizing for our ibs i'll be we will we'll talk about two main things which is product and marketing and we are actually covering helping the IB right to cover both of this area first is the product which is something called copy pip you know as an IB right you may not be able to trade it's fine right remember you need to have product and marketing I never mentioned that you need to be a good trader I never mentioned that you must be making 10% a month I did not mention that what I mentioned is you need to have a product and marketing. So when it comes to product, we have a product. So if, example, you, you don't know trading at all, okay, you have zero knowledge, we have this copy pit where we have hundreds of strategy providers where what you can do as an ID, right, is to go through all these strategy providers, we call them SP, right, and recommend a few good ones, right, maybe 10, right, five, and go to your clients and let them know these are the few that I have researched 
right, recommend this SP to them, right? It's better than you are forcing yourself to trade to be an SP, all right? Which you are not sure of the money management strategy, you know, mindset. So it's better to, to, to work with the experts that we are providing and provide this service to your investors. So this is product. Next, we are providing the marketing as well. We have this um, pit box content too. So basically imagine this, uh, and, and we are now in the social media world. Uh, you have your Facebook, LinkedIn, everything, right? So imagine we are coming out with the content, right? We, have, we are writing articles, things like that. So imagine you are sharing the article in your Facebook, okay? Somebody, right, your friends, or somebody who are your Facebook friends, you did not even meet them before in another country, he or she were to click on the article that we provide after reading it, right? Your referral link, your referral ID is actually cached in their laptop. So the next time when they open an account with us, automatically, right? Whenever they trade, you will get commission rebate from, from this account. It's as simple as that. So again, I did not mention that you, can, you need to write 10 articles a week. We did not mention that because we are able to provide this for you. Okay, so this is interesting, which I will talk more, we will talk more in our next IB Masterclass 5. We have talked about product. We have talked about marketing. The next most important thing is